as I said, being blind became after I was a teacher for 16 years and a storytelling teacher for five. And I discovered timeless tales could teach value lessons. They could teach young people how to live. In fact, the, ta the tales had so much power to them that the children would play out in their minds or in their imaginations. I'll give you an example. Here's a story about perseverance. There were two frogs. This is a Russian tale. There was a big frog and a little frog. Hey, you want to jump in? Swim around a little bit? No, it might be dangerous. Ah, come on. You never swam in any white stuff before, did you? Let's. And with that, the big frog pushed his buddy in. And they swam in this vat of white liquid, not thinking about whether or not they could get out. The sides were slick. Oh, we're in trouble. Now, we're going to just drown, and it's all your fault. Nah, we won't drown. I told you. I'll get us out. Just be patient. The little frog couldn't be patient. All he could be was afraid. And he whimpered and, and hollered and went <laughs> deep down into the vat of white liquid. But the big frog? He didn't give up. He swam and he swam. He frog paddled and he grabbed up his little friend and pulled him loose. And you know what? They swam so hard in that vat of white liquid, it churned to butter. And I tell my students, you see, it's just like Winston Churchill said in his most famous speech, a speech of only seven words. Never, 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 never give up. And that's the way I've seen life. And that's the way I hope all young people will see life.